Welcome back. La 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 Up, you'll be fine. Together, like stars, we'll shine. One, two, three, count with me. Four, five, six, count like this. Seven and eight, nine and ten. That's great. Clap your hands. Come on. One, two, three, sing with me. Four, five, six, just like this. Seven and eight, nine and ten. Adventure time again. With me and my best friends. is closer than yours, Billy and Paula. My turn, my turn! Woohoo! My rock is even closer than Amil's. Try and beat that, Calc and Chalky. It's okay, Chalky. You'll get closer to the stick next time. Calc's rock is closest to the stick. You win, Calc. Yeah, okay, great. Can we play something else now? This is getting kind of boring. Why don't we go to Mr. Merchant's stall and see if he has any new toys? New toys? Yeah, let's go now. Hello, Mr. Merchant. We're looking for new toys to play with. Do you have any? Hello, children. Sure, you can look around inside the stall and see if there's something you like. Thanks, Mr. Merchant. Oh, no, I'm out of camel vitamins. Children, I need to leave for a while to buy some vitamins for my camel at the pharmacy. Please, don't break anything. Don't worry. We'll be careful. Goodbye, Mr. Merchant. Hey, guys, look what I found. It's a trampoline. Whee! <laughs> this is great, Tim. <laughs> hey, Cal, let's see who can jump higher. <gasps> oh, dear. Cal! You're jumping too high and making holes in the roof. Stop jumping. Oh, no. Mr. Merchant told us not to break anything. We broke his rule. What are we going to do? Don't worry, guys. We just need to fix the holes in the roof before Mr. Merchant comes back. How many holes are there? Well, let's get the numbers to help us count how many holes in the roof we need to fix. One, two... two. Three, four. Four holes? Oh, dear. Will we be able to fix all of them before Mr. Merchant gets back? We'll have to try. Come on, guys. We need to work fast. Any ideas on what we can use to fix the holes? How about using a vase or a crate? They're big enough to cover the holes. I don't think that will work, Tim. They're too heavy for the roof. Maybe we should check the playroom for something to use. Good idea, Billy. We'll go back to the playroom. Emil, can you make sure Mr. Merchant doesn't come back until we fix the roof? Sure, guys. You can count on me. Come on, everyone. Let's take Buggy and head back to the playroom. <laughs> Let's spread out to look for things to cover the holes. We need something big enough, but also light. Okay, Paula. Let's do this. Hi, Tim. Mr. Merchant has already entered the pharmacy. Are you guys back from the playroom yet? Not yet, Emil. We're still in the playroom looking for things to fix the holes. We need more time. So you have to keep Mr. Merchant at the pharmacy for as long as possible. 
Oh, okay. I'll try my best. But please hurry! Guys, guys! We're running out of time. Amil said that Mr. Merchant is already inside the pharmacy. All right. What did you guys find to fix the holes? I got some towels. Chalky and I got paper. I think that's enough. We should get going now. Okay, everyone. Let's go back to Mr. Merchant's shop and fix the holes in the roof. No, those are not good. Don't take them. Emil, what are you doing here? I came to help, of course. <laughs> you should get, um, this one. It'll give your camel, uh, strong muscles. <laughs> so it can carry more things for you. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Yes, my camel needs that. I'll take this. Wait, um, I mean, you should give your camel this. What's this for? It's for, um, good teeth. Yes, yes, good, shiny teeth. Your camel will never have bad breath again. Are you sure? Yes, trust me. I, um, uh, look after many camels. <laughs> okay, guys, let's fix Mr. Merchant's roof before he comes back. Um, how are we going to get up on the roof to cover the holes? Hmm, we need something long enough to reach the roof. Aha! Uh -huh. Let's use this. A little to the right, Tim. That's good. Now to the left. Awesome! Now you have to move back. Great! We've covered three holes. Now for the last one. Oh, dear. The towel is too small to cover the last hole. Oh, what are we going to do now? Nope. Don't get those. This is too expensive. Oh, you definitely don't want these. Okay, okay. I think I've made my choice. I'll get this one. That's all. I need to get back to my stall now. Oh, no! Hey, Tim, you guys have to hurry. Mr. Merchant is heading back to the stall now. Oh, no, oh, no. Mr. Merchant is on his way back now. Quick, we need to fix that last hole. But we don't have anything that can cover it. What are we going to do? It's okay, guys. The numbers are here to help. Hurry, Tim. Throw the numbers on the roof to cover the hole. I'm on it. Go numbers! Nice throw, Tim. We fixed the roof. Hello, children. How is everything? Did you find a new toy to play with? Um, not yet, Mr. Merchant. But we definitely didn't break anything. <laughs> right, guys? Nope, nothing broken. <laughs> oh, dear. It's going to rain. Don't worry. Good thing we have a roof over our heads. Hey, how come it is raining in here? <gasps> there are holes in my roof. Oh, ah! no. oh, no! We're so sorry, Mr. Merchant. We were just jumping on the trampoline and accidentally made some holes in your roof. We tried to fix it before you came back, but I guess we didn't really do a very good job. Well. I'm glad you children told me the truth. Thank you for trying to fix my roof, but let me do it properly. There! That should do it! Now this roof is as good as new! And the rain has stopped. Well, it's getting late. I guess I should go home now. Yeah, I think we should do the same. Okay, see you guys soon! Bye! Goodbye, Emil. Come on, guys. Let's go home. Um, where's Calc? Sorry, Calc. We came back to get you. I can't believe we almost left Calc behind, Paula. That's right, Billy. Number <laughs> <laughs> of the day. Four, Four camels. Four trampolines. Dance with Calc! Thanks 
Chucky. I'm really enjoying our camping trip. How about you guys? Camping is awesome, Paula. There's only one thing that could make it better. A campfire story. I know a good story, and it's a really scary one, too. Um, I don't think I want to hear this story, Tim. Come on, Billy. It's a great story. It's about a ghost monkey that spooks this very jungle we're in right now. <laughs> this very jungle? The ghost monkey sneaks around in the bushes, waiting to sneak up on you to eat your snacks and steal all your toys! <gasps> no! The ghost monkey sounds scary. I hope it won't take my marshmallow. Don't worry, Billy. The ghost monkey, it only spooks those who sit in its favorite spot, an old tree stump that's next to a five-leaf clover. <gasps> I'm sitting on an old tree stump. But at least it doesn't have a five-leaf clover next to it. What's that? That's a clover. But does it have five leaves on it? There's only one way to know. The numbers can help us find out how many leaves there are on this clover. One, two, three, four, five! This clover has five leaves. That means this is the ghost monkey's favorite spot. Oh, dear. Um, guys, where's my marshmallow? The ghost monkey must have taken it. <laughs> ah, it's the ghost monkey. What's with all the screaming? I was trying to sleep. Sorry, buddy. It's just that the ghost monkey is coming for us, and we're really scared. Do you know how to keep it away? No, I don't know anything about ghosts or monkeys. Great idea, Chucky. Monkeys like bananas. If we give the ghost monkey bananas, then it'll stop spooking us. Ooh, I know where we can find bananas. Mr. Banana Tree. Great. Let's find Mr. Banana Tree right now. Are you coming, buddy? No, I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> On second thought, wait for me. wondering if by any chance you had seen any talking totem heads. That wasn't the ghost monkey. It's just Mr. Explorer. Phew! Thank goodness. Hmm. You two look a lot like talking totem heads. I didn't talk at all. It was all him. Oops. I just talked. They're not talking totem heads, Mr. Explorer. They're, uh, my cousins. And they're camping with us for the weekend. Ah, spending time in the great outdoors is a wonderful activity. But it is very late at night. Children like you should be sleeping at this hour. We're going to get bananas from Mr. Banana Tree and give them to the ghost monkey so it'll stop spooking us. Ghost monkey? <laughs> There's no such thing. <gasps> what was that? And is it just me or is it darker all of a sudden? The ghost monkey took your torchlight. It's been taking our stuff, too. It's scary. 
Blimey, I can't have this ghost monkey stealing my things. I'm coming along to get bananas too. <gasps> What's that sound? Maybe it's... The ghost monkey! Ah! <laughs> Hello, everybody. What's going on? Ew, it's just Mr. Banana Tree. Mr. Banana Tree, we need your help. Can you give us some bananas for the ghost monkey? We have to make him happy so he'll stop spooking us. Of course. One bunch of bananas coming right up. Huh? Where did all the bananas go? Blimey! The ghost monkey took the bananas! Oh, dear. What are we going to do now? I know. If we can't make the ghost monkey happy, then maybe we should capture it so it'll never spook us again. But how are we going to catch the ghost monkey? By making it an offer it can't refuse. I'll put this vine on the ground, and you guys cover it with leaves to hide it. Is the trap ready now, Paula? Not yet, Billy. We still need something to lure the ghost monkey here. What? Why are you guys looking at me? You make a delicious-looking banana. The ghost monkey won't be able to resist you. I see the lights. Everybody hide. That's it. Go get the big yummy banana. Pull the vine now. Pull! Woohoo! We caught the ghost monkey! <laughs> Jungle boy! Jungle, Jungle boy? boy? That's my torchlight! <gasps> Our marshmallows! And Mr. Banana Tree's bananas! So, it was Jungle Boy all this while? Why did you take our stuff, Jungle Boy? Jungle Boy hungry? But you can't eat torchlights. Why did you take them? Like good. Ghost monkey, scary. Did you hear Tim's scary story about the ghost monkey too? Jungle boy. So, if it was Jungle boy who took our stuff, that means there's no ghost monkey? Nope, it's just a scary story. That's a relief. Now can someone get me out of this and pass me a marshmallow? <laughs> <laughs> that was a fun camping trip. I'm so glad there's no such thing as a scary ghost monkey. Ha! I wasn't afraid at all. <gasps> Don't let the monster get me! Relax, guys. It's just Calc and Chalky making shadows on the wall. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I knew it all along. <laughs> sure, Tim. <laughs> Number of the day. Five marshmallows. Five clovers. Dance with Cal. Chalky! Red light! Tim and Chalky, you guys moved while it's red light! You're both out! Oh man! I can't believe I'm still in the game, Paula! That's right, Billy! It's just you and Calc left in the game! Green light! Oh! It's the phone! Hello? Paula speaking! Hi, Paula! There's a traffic jam in El Goldrado, and it's out of control. Can you guys come over to help me? Sure, Mr. Banana Tree. We'll be right over. Come on, everyone. Let's go to the jungle to help Mr. Banana Tree.
Sorry, monkeys. We'll get this sorted out really soon. Please don't be angry. Hi, Mr. Banana Tree. Whoa! There are a lot of angry monkeys here. What happened? I'm trying my best to control the traffic, but everyone keeps walking on the road at the same time. It's a big mess. What have you been doing to control the traffic so far? Uh, actually, I, um, don't really know what to do. I think there needs to be some rules. Billy's right. Mr. Banana Tree, you need to set some traffic rules. Traffic rules? How do I do that? First, you let five monkeys from this sidewalk. Then, you let five monkeys from that sidewalk. Oh, great idea. Okay, I'll try it. Hello, monkeys. Only five of you can walk on the road at a time. No, wait, I said five. Are you guys listening to me? I think you're not loud enough, Mr. Banana Tree. They can't hear you. Monkeys, please listen to me. You need to be even louder, Mr. Banana Tree. Here, I'll show you. Monkeys, stop moving and listen. Now you try it, Mr. Banana Tree. Uh, uh, um. Listen up, everyone. According to the new traffic rules, you'll have to take turns walking on the road in groups of five. We will start with this side first. Well done, Mr. Banana Tree. Now let's count the five monkeys that are allowed to walk first. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five. Five. Five monkeys have walked. Now, this side. One, two, three, four, five. You did it, Mr. Banana Tree. Thank you for helping me. It's time for the next group of monkeys to walk. One, two, three, four. Watch it. I'm coming through. Hmm, Buddy isn't a monkey. Should I count him as part of the five? I think you should, Mr. Banana Tree. If not, it won't be fair. Okay, Paula. So Buddy is number five. Make way! Let me go through, please. Sorry, Mr. Totem Head. It's time for the other side to walk now. Come on, Mr. Banana Tree. You can let one more pass through. Just let me go, please. Well, it's just one, and you did ask very nicely. I guess it'll be all right. Go ahead, Mr. Totem Head. Yippee! Oh, no. Please, stop. You need to wait your turn to walk. Don't rush. You can't just let someone walk through even if they were nice to you. You've got to be strict and fierce. Here, Mr. Banana Tree, maybe this whistle will help. Thanks. I'll give it a try. Monkeys on the left. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Monkeys on the right. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, I'm doing it. You can now call me Traffic Officer Banana Tree. <laughs> it looks like you have things under control. We'll be going home now. Goodbye. Come visit again soon. Officer Banana Tree, remember? Oh, yeah. I wonder how he's doing. We can go back to visit and find out. Okay. Let's go back to the jungle to visit Traffic Officer Banana Tree. Whoa. 
the roads are so empty. Um, Paula, why are the monkeys hiding? <laughs> this is a one-way street. You children are breaking the traffic rules by going the wrong way. Oops. Sorry, Traffic Officer Banana Tree. We'll turn around right away. Oh! oh, dear. Did we break another traffic rule? Yes. You have to keep at least half a banana leaf away from the sides. Okay, Traffic Officer Banana Tree. Come on, guys. Let's go around the corner so we won't get into any more trouble with the Traffic Officer. No standing on this side of the road. Keep moving, or I'll have to write you a ticket for breaking the traffic rules. Okay, okay. Jeez, what happened to Mr. Banana Tree? He has so many rules now. Yeah, he must have scared all the monkeys away. But Mr. Banana Tree also looks kind of sad and lonely. You're right, Billy. Let's find out what's wrong. Hi, Traffic Officer Banana Tree. Is everything okay? Oh, hello, children. Yes, I'm okay. Uh, I can't talk to you now. I'm working. Are you sure you're okay? You look sad. Well, no one wants to be around me anymore. The monkeys don't like me. I think they're just afraid of you, Mr. Banana Tree. Yeah, relax, Mr. Banana Tree. You don't need to have so many traffic rules. I guess so. Rules are important, but sometimes they can be too much. Here, you can take back your whistle. I don't need it. Come on out, everybody. I'm not Traffic Officer Banana Tree anymore. Everything's back to normal. Yippee! <laughs> Mr. Banana Tree's normal again! No dancing on the road! Just kidding. Keep dancing, everyone. <laughs> Number of the day. Five monkeys. Five whistles. Dance with Cal. Try, Billy? No, thanks, Paula. I like these soft pillows, and so does Chalky. My turn, my turn! Bouncing is awesome! Woohoo! Join me, Calc! Wow! Look at Calc go! It's the phone, Paula. I got it! Hello! Paula speaking! Hi, Paula! It's Maurice! Captain Redbeard wants me to pick some coconuts for him, but I'm not tall enough to reach them. What do I do? Why don't you get Captain Redbeard to pick the coconuts himself? First, matey, where are the coconuts? I'm thirsty. Ask the captain to pick the coconuts himself? I'm not allowed to give the captain orders. I'm only his first mate. Don't worry, Maurice. We'll come over to help you. Maurice needs our help to pick coconuts. Let's go to Treasure Island! What's taking you so long? Get me those coconuts! Poor Maurice. Redbeard, stop being a big old meanie. Why don't you help Maurice pick the coconuts? But I'm the captain. First mateys are supposed to help the captain. Right, first matey? Oh, yes, captain. That's right. Now, I'm going to take a nap. But when I wake up, every coconut on this island had better be picked or else. Aye, aye, captain. 
Pick every coconut on this island? I can't even reach those up there. I'm doomed. Hmm. I know what can help you. Calc, could you go get the trampoline, please? Um, what does this do? You bounce on it. Give it a try. Oh, <laughs> it's kind of fun. <laughs> Bounce higher and reach those coconuts, Maurice. You can do it. Wee! Uh, I think I can reach the coconuts now. Let's count how many coconuts you pick. The numbers can help us. One, One two, two, three, three four. four. Five. me timber. Six. Whoops. Oh dear. Are you okay, Captain? I'm really sorry about dropping the coconuts on your head. Oh, please wake up, Captain. Eh? What? Whew. You're okay. No, oh, so sorry to be sleeping on the job, Captain. Huh? I'm not the captain, Captain. But you have the captain's hat. Uh, but I... Uh, yes, Captain Maurice. You do have the captain's hat. Your hat. Come on, Maurice. This is your chance to be captain. Oh, yes. I am the captain, and you are my... First matey! Aye, aye, Captain. Whatever you say, Captain. Whatever I say? What are you standing there for, First matey? Get to work! Aye, aye, Captain. Is this really a good idea? I'm sure it'll be fine, Billy. This is a chance for Maurice to try and be Captain. <laughs> Here, sea lions, I have to feed you your lunch. It's orders from Captain Maurice. Hey, where are you going? Come back, please! <laughs> <laughs> well, dig there! No, dig over there! Use more strength, first matey! I want my treasure! Maurice is starting to sound a lot like Redbeard. <laughs> giddy up! Giddy up! Come on, first matey! Move faster! Aye, aye, Captain. I'm going as fast as I can. Don't you think Maurice is being a bit too mean to Redbeard? You're right, Billy. Maybe we should stop Maurice. Hi, Maurice. Hang on, Paula. I'm thirsty. First matey, I order you to pick six coconuts, one for each of my friends and me, and I want them fast. Or else. Yes, Captain Maurice. Maurice, you're being kind of mean to Redbeard. But that's what Redbeard did to me when he was captain. And I'm sure it didn't feel very nice when he ordered you to pick every coconut on this island. Oh, yeah. I guess you're right. Mm. Ow! Mm. Yar! Ow! Mm. First matey... You don't have to... No, I can do it, Captain Maurice. I'll get you those coconuts. <laughs> Shiver me timbers. That's high up. Help me, please. Redbeard looks scared. I think he's too afraid to climb down. Don't worry. The numbers are here to help. Try and grab the numbers tower, Redbeard. They'll help you climb down the tree. I can't reach them. 
That didn't work. What should we do now, Paula? We'll use the trampoline. Calc, can you help me get it? Redbeard, jump onto the trampoline. B -b 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 but I'm scared. It'll be okay. You can do it first, matey. Just jump. Jump, 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 jump. This is a jump. good idea. Jump, jump, jump. jump. Oh, jump. Okay, jump. Here I jump. go. Yeah. Whoa. Are you okay? Yeah. Phew. I'm glad you're not hurt. Now you can go back to cleaning the shipwreck first, matey. Did you just call me first matey? I'm the captain, and that's my pirate hat. Give it to me. Uh-oh. Captain Redbeard's back. Tell me to clean the shipwreck, will ya? You go clean it right now, or else. Uh, aye, aye, first matey. What did you call me? Uh, sorry, first matey. Yeah, I mean, Captain. Yeah, now get moving. You children, go home. First mate Redbeard was so much better. Yeah, I miss him. So do I. Number of the day. Six coconuts. Six, Six trampolines. trampolines.